Okay, uh, so this is a uh, part two. Let's play Crystal Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles and on to the second level, which is oh, never mind, it's the Mushroom Forest anyway. Um, up to this point, you should have repeated the River Bell Path level multiple times and got nearly all the artifacts you can get from there. So your character is strong, but not only strong, but rich. So you will have, by this time after selling all the stuff you got from doing that, you'll have lots of money. And using this money you want to upgrade your character. Uh, so my character is almost maxed for this stage of the game. Uh, the only thing I'm missing is the iron sets of armor. I mean you can't get mithril, but that requires hours. <laughs> grinding. I'm currently using the warrior's weapon, uh, which is pretty OP, as you can see. This charge attack is a, a double shot, which on the Selkie is pretty broken because her charge is fast. And you can two shot the carrions, so easy peasy. to get uh, two spells because you, you want to learn gravity so you can get them from there. So if you want to put thunder, blizzard in, learn gravity. And use gravity on airborne targets which I'll demonstrate. Otherwise, they just just like immortal. Gravity does have a dual purpose too. Um, it does. It acts as a demi. If you know what demi does in other Final Fantasy games on bosses and probably normal enemies too. Um, so yeah, you can use it at the start of every boss fight if you know they're going to be idle. Like for the first crab boss, if you stand behind him, use gravity, you get free damage. That's only if you're not OP though, and you can just bash it down. But yeah, gravity's nice. The other spell that has similar properties is Holy, which makes undead killable. This level's really good to repeat as well, because the items you can get are just valuable. And I'd recommend grinding this level a lot until you can start getting mithril stuff. And by repeating this level, you'll get all the artifacts you missed in the first level, I suppose. Hopefully I get a health uh, artifact from this playthrough. Up there, it's usually where it is. Done. The boss for this level is the Marlboro, with these things protecting it. But the bare minimum, you do want to know this weapon, actually. 
I have a warrior's weapon just because I can. <laughs> so the strat is just kill these guys. Doink. Doink. Yeah, you can keep bashing them to death. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And that's the second level. The mushroom forest. So look at those stats. You want to have your character around the same point. Oh god. If you don't have a gourd potato after the first level, you're in trouble. Oh no. Obviously, you'd take the flame tongue here. Now that you've just got another piece of mirror, you want to go into town and collect your freebie, which is by the well. Here. Iron shard. Now, while I'm here, I'm going to make myself some armor. I'm going to quickly do the level again, just so I can get the second piece of iron gear. And maybe a... Uh, health. because it'll take you to the start.
There we go, Earth Pendant. That's what you really want from this level. If you wanted to do this properly, you'd use clear to and sooner your uh, statuses, so you'd get rid of your slow and poison, um, and you'd obviously need cure, and just keep rotating between killing the minions and then him. As he out uh, on the harder versions, on the easy version, if you've grinded the game properly, you can just destroy him like that. Oh wow, that's a good one. Marshall and the Earth Pendant, as you can see. So I'd always choose Earth Pendant. And that's it, pretty much. For part two, it's like level over. Alright. 